Recently, I got interested in earthquake because of the frequent occurrence here in Korea. Especially the 5.4 earthquake in Pohang in 2017. At that time, I felt the vibration by the earthquake in Seoul, which is far away from Pohang. The building behind me is Asem Tower with 41 stories. I'm working on the ninth floor of this building. If a 5.4 earthquake occurred near this building, or somehow in Seoul, is this building safe? Surely there must be a way to test whether a building is earthquake resistant before building a prototype. Let's look at the process to validate an earthquake resistant design with solid oak simulation. I will show you how to simulate an earthquake load on an existing 3D model and verify whether the design is safe. In order to understand the behavior of a building by an earthquake, we need to perform a dynamic analysis. There are four types of dynamic analysis, such as modal time history, harmonic response, random vibration, and response spectrum analysis, which are all available in solid oak simulation. The response spectrum analysis is suitable for the analysis of an earthquake. We can get the maximum response for the prescribed base motion with the response spectrum analysis. And we will be able to predict the safety of the building using this maximum response. Solidox simulation is fully integrated with Solidox 3D CAD, so the design property such as material property, made configuration, context are still remain in Solidox simulation. Therefore, required time for setting will be reduced dramatically. And solid oxygen simulation provides an intuitive visual to define necessary setting. Not all problems are as tricky as earthquake simulation. That means any designer or engineer will be able to introduce finite element analysis into their workflow to get the design insight, even if they don't have the professional knowledge. The behavior of the building is affected by the direction of the earthquake. We can easily evaluate the effect of each direction of earthquake. After getting the result, we can compare the result using the compare result function. We can clearly understand the effect of the earthquake loading direction. We can see that the building has bigger displacement when the earthquake loading is applied in X direction. By analyzing the results such as displacement and stress, we can find the weak area in the building. And then we can figure out the area that needs a design change. Let's add some filler to the weak area. The maximum displacement and stress are decreased overall compared to the previous design. So, we can say the building is safe because the maximum stress is less than the yield stress. This is the process of the earthquake resistant design with solid oak simulation. Remember, we don't need any prototype during the process. It's very simple, isn't it? We cannot prevent earthquake from happening here in Korea, but it's nice to know that there are software tools that can help us to design an earthquake resistant building. Sitting here on the ninth floor of my building, I feel much safer. By introducing Solidox simulation into your product development workflow, you can easily and quickly evaluate the impact of an earthquake or any kind of vibration problem without building a prototype. But that's not all. With Solidox flow simulation, you can even analyze the impact of fluid flow, such as the wind loading acting on a structure. To learn more about how solid oxygen simulation tool can help you to predict the safety of your design, please contact sales rep of solid oxygen authorized reseller or visit www.solidox.co.kr for more detail. Also, you can find many videos on the Solidox Korea Facebook and YouTube channel.